learn something new about yourself and her being a coach to me has helped me a lot. So I really think that if you read this book, it will change your life. We were watching The Long Way Round. The Long Way Round is a documentary where Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman travel around the world on big BMW motorbikes. I said to Robin, I'd like to do that. And our daughter, Tabby, who's here this evening, was at Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital a few years ago. And I thought, well, let's raise some money for them. My training started a very dear friend called Gary. He's been riding motorbikes since he was little, trained me, and decided to do an enduro challenge. I fell off my motorbike 30 times in an hour, and I didn't actually finish the warm-up lap. There must have been alarm bells ringing really, really loudly, but I obviously chose to ignore those. The trip that we had chosen to do was four days across the Pyrenees. It was very, very harsh terrain. I found myself on a patch of rock. Oh, and there was a slope up there. I can picture it right now as if it was yesterday. And it was 45 degrees. And I had to get my motorbike up there and then there's a sharp right at the top. And I had all those feelings of fear and terror and everything else coming up inside me thinking, I cannot do this. I don't know why an executive team popped into my head. I'd worked with an executive team a couple of weeks before and they weren't of the warm and fuzzy variety. And I thought, you know what? If I can come to a successful conclusion with those guys, I can definitely get my motorbike up there. And then I thought of all those children at Great Ormond Street Hospital. And I thought, I have chosen to be here and I'm going to get up there. And I did. What I processed on the side of that mountain, the fear, the anxiety, but the excitement and the thrill and the adrenaline were all of the things that I work through with my clients on a daily basis. And the book is all about those things that we do when we're in danger of our head and too much thinking getting in the way of what we're truly capable of and what might be possible in our lives. You might not be surprised to hear, I only did day one. <laughs> what I did do was achieve so much more than I even thought was possible. And I live to tell the tale. No matter how tough the message, everyone still wants more of Kate. Brilliant listener. Deft touch, iron fist, velvet glove. She is simply the best. I know people are going to say you're just going to blow smoke because here you are, we're promoting this book, The Art of the Possible and so on. But in terms of actually what Kate does, very impressive. I think Kate really brings out the best in a person. The ability to allow that person to start thinking of realizing his or her full potential. And it's so good that Kate has put this all in a book. And The Art of Possible is a book that I would recommend you read because it will really help you realize uh, uh, your full potential. Kate has provided tremendous inspiration to me in my career um, and in my personal life. In working with her, in being friends with her, she's tremendously inspiring um, and encouraging and kind and thoughtful and, um, and so just a wonderful person to know. And she's very, uh, she's very thoughtful in how she helps to encourage people to really tap into the art of possible and to do what they, they have the capability to do but don't necessarily see in themselves. To me, Kate is probably well, definitely the best coach in the business. Kate's real skill is about getting you to have the insight you need to do what you need to do. And that is pretty, pretty amazing actually. Just to make it even more sickening, she does it with this great sort of quizzical smile on her face. She's just great fun to be with. When she's giving you a hard time and you're trying to equivocate or wriggle off the hook or get away from something difficult, she doesn't let you get away with it. But at the end of the day, you will come away with what you need to do yourself and understand why you need to do it. Um, and it doesn't get much better than that. And she's great. I first met Kate after I just sort of recently left HSBC, uh, where I actually had um, 
a role where I interviewed and observed over 500 global coaches in my role there. And when I met Kate, she stood out. So today reminded me how she has the ability to challenge you, to bring out the best in you, to dig deep, to see more in yourself that you could, can believe that you can do. Kate has given me so much encouragement and support over the years. I know that the book is going to be an incredible help to me and my life. Um, not only has she uh, helped me in my professional capacity, the insights that she's given me um, has helped me in my personal life as well. I'm so excited about the book. I'm really looking forward to reading it. I probably will start reading it tonight.